This is a Sillier, aka Catfish, France's largest freshwater fish. And in this video, we're gonna be playing Pokemon, not pretending, but in real life, trying to catch even bigger and tougher fish. We'll be spending four days trying fish and catching four different fish. We will be able to catch them all. What we're gonna do is catch them and we'll be able to catch the biggest fish in the region. I don't know, but as usual, we're gonna find out together. Welcome to the new episode of Practice Makes Perfect. You've been following this channel where we learn and experiment in all areas. And you might remember that my father and fishing are a true love story. I'm the one who sinned. He watches all of the videos that I publish, so if he sees that I release a single video with the National Fishing Federation without telling him first, I think I'll be disinherited straight away. So we're gonna be accompanied by my dad for this shoot. Long live fishing! Then it's off to Brittany, where we'll pick up our rental car. Here, you have an option between the convertibles. Look at this beauty. Sure, but look at the size of that suitcase. Right, we'll take the X3. We're gonna get the Darren. We just picked up the first apprentice fisherman. Where we're going to is very secluded. There is only one youth hostel available, so we're going to be a bit tight. We put the entire budget into the car. <laughs> yeah, we're out of money. <laughs> the material is not important in this case. Of course you can. Except for this. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. <laughs> Next stop, we're heading straight to the youth hostel. Where's the hostel, bro? I've been convincing him for the past hour they were on our way to a youth hostel, but it's not much of one. Oh, wow. Oh, magnificent. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little in. Youthful. Say there. Little. How do you like your youth hostel? Frankly, for a small room, it's fine. The first stage is the calm before the storm. So with the Darren out of the way and all our apprentice anglers well rested, we can get on with this week's fishing with the aim of discovering the Loch Ness Monster. Mm -hmm. Well, the Morbid Monster, but you get the idea. We got some sleep and then <clears throat> we went to meet with Pierre. Basically, he's a bit like Professor Chen with Pokemon, except that you replace them with a fish, any fish, all of the fish. He knows all of them. But if you didn't have a Professor Chen, then all you had to do was have my childhood. I'm delighted to welcome you here. The same. We eat the fish afterwards or throw them away. Della. And we've told him this three times already. It's recreational fishing, but he's insisting he wants to eat all the fish. <laughs> Hi, guys. Joris. Pleased to meet you. So we begin on this little pond for small fish. We'll start with roach on the small rod. After that, we'll switch to slightly larger rods and try to catch small carp and tench. This is already going to be It's fun. a bit like in Pokemon. You have levels of fish. Some are stronger than others. Yeah, you have they'll some be harder that... to capture. Some will be more combative. <laughs> Tomorrow we're off to another pond in Cote d'Amour where we'll be fishing for rainbow trout. On Wednesday we're going pike fishing and we finish on Thursday to go fishing for catfish, the largest freshwater species in France. Rare Pokemon in these environments. I have my target. I will leave the carp and pike to you, but I'm gonna go after the sheepfish. Your shoe fishing cards. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Which will allow you to fish not only this week, but all year round if you we're like. We're officially Gordon. fishermen. I'll add that to my yes, Instagram bio. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag practice makes perfect. Bagos Pisher. But the first step before battling fish bigger than me is to learn the basics of this discipline, which apparently attracts over one and a half million regular anglers in France every single year. Then it's on to the initiation with Yaris and Francois, the masters of the carp arena. It's not designed to catch big fish, although it can happen here. The float floats on the surface of the water and acts like an indicator. Small sinkers, a tiny hook on which you put the maggot. Then we prepared some ground bait. You go and make a little ball, you don't cast it very far. The fish will come and eat and you put the line there. But then, it well, can like we taste it? Peanuts. He's a pastry chef. What is it like, Gilo? It's special. Pastry chef, what grade? Two. <laughs> As you can see, we're using fly larvae. So we'll larva. be using fly larvae. There are maggots. <laughs> Who wants to eat vegan? <laughs> Hot, how much do you six. eat? Uh, one, two, three, two. <laughs> You've lost now. It's time to face the music. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Imagine that's a choco pick. Come on. With that out of the way, we can finally start catching our first fish. The first one to raise a fish, the other pays 10 euros, okay? In my opinion, it's gonna happen. Hop, hop. As soon as it shoots, I shoot very hard. Ah, yes. <laughs> Come on, 10 balls. It took 45 seconds. Uh, what's a roach. this? There's a little membrane around the fish to protect it. We try to get its little hand wet so the fish lives. I've been afraid to do this, but now I'll learn. I have a real question. Don't their mouths hurt too much? No, you've seen the hook. It's barbless. See, it unhooks itself. Now you can release it. The first roach series. Roach won. <laughs> What's more, he won 10 balls. The first amount of fish pays 10 euros. Oh, la, la that's it. Oh, it's the same as mine. I eat directly. It's recreational uh, fishing. I know. Leave it. It's not a joke at all. He grew up in Laos in Korea. 
Come on, no, Antoine, he continues. The color there. Come on. Everything's going well right now. All we've got is a roach, but make sure you stay until the end because there will be this. Finally, a catfish. We got familiar with the lion while catching the roach. We've been working a bit on hook removal techniques. We're just practicing the basics because the higher we go, the bigger the fish will be. And we're gonna have to replicate this technique on bigger and bigger, more aggressive fish, like our Pokemon, in fact. Brittany is too beautiful. What's more, Dilo's gotten a lot better with the drone shots. It's stable. He doesn't crash them anymore, so it's easy to get this kind of clean, steady shot. Careful, Fran. There's a tree behind it. <laughs> Dill, there's a tree. Dill, Dill, Dill! Son of a... Son of a... Forget what I said. But he didn't beat. So there's usually something going on. Bro, I don't have the necessary You've got a 1,000 euro controller in your hand. What's better? We're making a lasso and trying to catch Dillo's mess in the tree. No, it wasn't bad. On the other it's hand, I wouldn't have taken this fishing. I'm ride. going to call you out until the you end of the video. Drone. Until the end of my video, he can't say anything anymore. Every time he speaks, it'll Just be like animal noises. But he really put it in the top of the tree. Do you speak duck? You speak hamster now. I didn't know you were a polyglot. Pig now? Two of the best fishermen in town. You get them drone fishing. Yeah, that's right. I am the one who changes the video after all. He's abusive, Tristan. Come on! Yeah? Come on! It moves! Come on! Let's we go. were over there. Then I heard, he's falling! So I did a sprint, and when I saw him falling, I threw myself down into the same trick we learned in soccer, where I held out both arms and he fell on top of them. Brother, Just like that. And I wrapped so myself in it. Yes. Wow. You're still you talking that? like a hamster. <laughs> After trying to catch a drone for an hour and a half, which was totally unscheduled, we can finally resume our Pokemon hunt in real life by moving on to the next stage. Right now, we're trying to catch Magikarp. Passionate, I just see bread and moving water. They see her underwater eating and everything. They can tell you, okay, that's a roach, that is a carp. Quiet. No, no. Ah, he ate the bread off my heart. I had my piece of bread eaten by a big Magikarp. I did what I had to do. I rewound her. No, I hooked a nice hook. You do a little jerk action so that the hook goes into the mouth. The hook snapped so the carp was too big. For carp fishing, we change hooks and baits. The only thing that's different is that here we'll have to watch for movement on the surface of the water first and then try to cast the line in that precise area to maximize the chances of biting. I think my dad just gave me a little challenge. The second to catch a carp pays for dinner. It works. Yes. That's a little better. Here, here, here. Let's go. No, she's gone. I can't take my eyes off my piece of bread. As soon as you see that, it's being swallowed. Yes. Come on. Yes. On top. Oh. Did it stall or break? I think it broke. We'll stop using the hooks with the, you put me on catfish duty and we'll go. Listen up, we are with the fishing federation now, guys. If I want a pearls, I've got some around here, okay? I didn't come here to string pearls. After about 34 minutes of having my line cut twice in a row and missing all my other catches as a result, this finally happens. Here, on the other hand, you've put got Put the cane grip. high. Yeah, it's okay. Here we and are. And then you don't need to shoot, you just let it's it okay. happen. Your cane, you leave it okay, like that. Okay, then it. you, my little buddy, come to me. When you lower your crane, you grind. Believe me, that's impressive. That's Shall it. I Stop. pull up? Now you're moving up slowly. Oh, okay. Dad, are you ready to See? pay for your meal? Go slowly. Come on down. He's strong. What do I do? Great. That's a fight. Take it this easy. Is it. Take it's okay. it easy. It's okay. Come on, Dylan. It's cool, my man. Contrary to what people think about fishing here at the Fed A, they aim to protect the ecosystem by analyzing the fish they catch. We give him his little medical checkup and learn a few things about this new Pokemon. A new Pokemon for the Pokedex! And then we gently released it. Or we tried. I admit defeat. I owe my son two restaurants. But don't worry, practice makes perfect. It's all right, you can make it hey, up to me. Hey, on the other hand, I haven't said my last word. If mine is bigger ah, than Tristan's, yeah, it cancels everything right. out. In terms the of what it felt like, it's quite something. I didn't even have time to give my feedback as suddenly we heard in the background, there's a fish Let for the breathe. old man. Let her tire herself out a bit. And from time yes. to time, you pull and grind while lowering. Here, pull. Mine was prettier. This one's a very odd shape. Yes. Yeah, but mine is bigger. <laughs> I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> uh? <laughs> and ciao. Carp arrive and are very capricious. Well. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
Go, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. What, what shoot, shoot. Take it easy? Say? It's okay. Now you're grinding. So I grind. You're Come right. closer. Okay, okay, okay. You grind well, you fuck well. Now I'm real. Here we are. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> it was easy. Yeah. I yeah, didn't you didn't struggle. make a mistake and either. Did they. Yeah, that's a little smaller. Hey, baby. Nope. Don't touch me. Wait. Don't move. There. Okay. Like that. It's good. Your first catch, bro. Yeah. She's so beautiful. Since we've all caught our first Pokemon, we even got our national tan guy to have a go at it. And on the first try, he got a fish. Please no. Real, real. He real. has it. She's on it. She's on it directly. Look, even Tan Guy is going to get his first carp! Come on, yeah, yeah! Good, 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 good. What does that say on your back, Tan Guy? PMP? Practice makes peach! <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> Practice makes peach! She shoots. <gasps> but really, like. Come on! <laughs> it's enormous! Guys, she's huge! Just look at all those beautiful colors on its body! It's huge! Whoa! I'm Greg. I did five and a half hours of intensive fishing today like I planned, as we really need to practice the sport because there will be no room for error in the days ahead. From casting, fighting, hooking, and everything in between. Presently, we're in super try-hard mode because let me remind you, we're only on the first day of a short fishing week and it's going to rise to crescendo from the simplest to the most complicated fish. Meaning we are super focused and we have to believe that beginner's luck works because today, it's biting everyone. That's the record for the day. It's beautiful. That's the record. Come on. Yeah! I prayed for I this prayed one. to Jupiter. I said, God damn it, please let this be the record. Well, that's it. That's it. That's it. This is it. No more restaurants now. Who's the boss now? The old timers. Oh, now you've lost. You've lost You're not going to make me. So you see, I'm Long the one who pulled fishing. the trigger. The small price to pay for those who still don't subscribe. Come on, subscribe a little, you toad. Yeah, true. Come on. Subscribe, okay? Thank you. I've been working seven years <laughs> to get to a million subscribers. Seven years of try-hard launching one video per week, and we've never been so close to one million subscribers, so thanks to all those who will take the bait and subscribe to the channel, because I really think that we've earned that trophy. It's over. I don't think we can do any better than this for the day. See you tomorrow for the Rainbow Trouts. <laughs> See you. Anyway, I think we'll go around for this first Pokemon, so day number two, Las Frutas Arcancielas. Hello, Sebastian from Hello. TV. Hello. Hello. Well, welcome to day two's little fishing spot for the day, aka the Etang Nyuf. Etang Nyuf is the trout spot of the Cote Ama, and it's not just any trout. Here it is full of rainbow trout, one of the most colorful species of freshwater fish. But before it ends up smoked over a wood fire on your Christmas table, she's known for being ultra vigilant and energetic, which makes her a Pokemon. Not easy to catch for anglers with only a few days worth of training, but before that, he says new fish means new fishing techniques. The so idea is to use a much smaller rod that's designed to be thrown, we're on a small cane and made to be launched. We have decoys, he's gonna try to imitate a fish, but he'll send out a lot of sparkle with a small paddle. The shape of the future is pretty. Yesterday we had rods where once cast we waited for the fish to come to us, here it's the other way around. We'll go and get the fish and once you're there I'll wow. cast. Wow. I let go when the rod's about this height, once it's in the water you put the rod down like this and there, you reel quietly. They say I take a touch and then bang, I put the rod up, okay, go on. Okay, come on, thank show you. us. So don't let your hand get in the way. You can keep your right hand. It's all about style. <laughs> I saw this on Pecha de Jovet. Yeah. The drone has caught the decoy. Ah, the decoy. Okay, here's what happened. The drone passed under the line and then cut the decoy line outright. Uh, yeah. I think it did, yeah. That sounds like a pretty good pitch. In any case, there's something to be said for fishing. It's really peaceful and feels good. Feels you very already good. mean you're in communion with nature? Frankly, there are times I take my new people fishing, and they all tell me they've got many problems at work. There, it's meditation. And they it's forget four everything. Hours, one hour, they come out, they're in great shape. It's a form of meditation. Finally, it's a form of meditation for us humans outside the water. Because on the other side of the net, as the trout eat the other smaller fish, it looks more like a fighting arena than a peaceful little lake. And if you want to capture this intermediate level Pokemon, you'll have to learn to mimic the behavior of its prey. And then the fish will think, he'll say to himself, I've got a super strong fish, and now I've got a sick fish, which is easier to catch a sick one, so I go for it. Let's Look see what they're that. up to. 
Others so we have sick. just seen That's that you have to mimic and play with the decoy as if it were a small puppet. You give it back. The little piece of plastic that's all dead, I bring it back to life. <sighs> well, there. Oh! No! Yes, yes, yes. The trout's crazy and lively. We need to be much smarter about it. Where are we going to launch? You'll see, I'll be the first to catch some. If you don't squeeze, she'll spit it out. It's been an hour and a half, and not much has happened, but we're having the time of our lives. <clears throat> I'm about to catch it! Woohoo! Are you sure you're catching it this way? farthest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad. I think a trout is smarter. Uh, no. Wow, beautiful fish. Wow, come on, come on. Reel wow, it in, reel it in. Strong. Put it over there. Oh no. It's okay, he's got the feeling. But no, felt, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A trout is smarter. I even think it shows on his head. A carp's a bit more stupid. Today, we find ourselves in a rather quiet mood as the trout aren't as greedy as all of their frustrated carp compatriots. Okay? Can we take pictures? How much do you have on you? I've got my cane. <laughs> if you say practice makes perfect with perfect pronunciation, then we can make a plan. Practice makes perfect. Come on, and if you're looking for a jury duty, then I'm a good girl for it. <laughs> even from pontoon to pontoon, because it doesn't work too well, I'm not certain. There's nothing biting, but even Pierre had one. Yeah, even Pierre, the king of fish, only had one hit today in the whole hour and a half of fishing. So I'll admit, we're starting to despair a bit, until puree. Until puree. It's not even Victor. Christian, what did Pierre tell me? We only had one, but after an hour and a half. Come on, come here, my cochon. Oh, yes. Look at his stitches. Did you see that? Superb fish. He's in great shape with beautiful fins. Your left hand, you see, you can Here squeeze it. his tail. Yes. yes. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've always had a phobia of catching fish and all. It's good, and it makes me work like crazy. So since Professor Chen has just caught his first trout at this exact spot over here, I target this area. That's what the term pickup means. Go ahead, shut up. You don't have to let it go. You bring it back, you bring it back, you bring it back. That's the way I it is. Fine. And then you'll see, it gives you quite a chase. And after a few throws, bingo. Oh, 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 let's go! I was Slowly. grinding ultra fast in spirals, doing it like this. It was moving in a steady fast spiral. Let's go, let's go! Ugh, take the hook out. And then right hand. It's good, perfect. It's Freddy's first rainbow trout, look! <laughs> Say Louis in Pure a crazy two. fix. He had a catch, but it escaped at the last moment. But no, they accepted it. It's interesting to see that fishing isn't what you think, but what you know, as it requires a lot more vigilance and more concentration. It's a lot more interesting than I thought. And now, the next step is to get into these tiny boats. On the pond itself, before tackling the tube fishing, it seems that the tone is set by our apprentice anglers. You're not as good as your sister. My worst. Your cousin is falling for me. <laughs> hey, mon <Chili. laughs> <laughs> The flow tube is the perfect cross between an inflatable sulfa and a buoy with fins. Basically, it's the ultimate way to fish on the water with style or without style, but don't abuse it either. You must understand it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to the lily pads. He can't manage the orders. I'm coming to save you! What are you doing over there? You're taking everything oh, away from special. me. Yeah, yeah, it feels great. <laughs> well, I'm going. I just jumped over there. Let's go. Wow! <laughs> Woo! I got my first hold, but it let go. The feeling is crazy. First, he took the bait and then let go, which can mean two things. The fish took my allure, but I didn't hook fast enough, and he had time to spit it out as he realized it didn't taste like a normal fish. Or he took the bait in one place where fortunately for him, there was no hook, which we'll never know. Whichever way you look at it, it doesn't matter since there are still no trout in my landing net. Nothing. We do what we've learned. We keep moving, me and the bait. I have to reel super often as it makes vibrations underwater. And since vibrations mimic 
the wriggling of panicking prey if you are precise enough to cast in a slightly moving area and you gently grind at the right pace, after a while something is supposed to happen if you manage to do it right. Oh! Come on! Guys, I got it, I got it. This is Buddies! <laughs> buddies, first float tube rainbow trout here. I'm so proud. I got the technique. Anyway, things are going really well for me, and I'm really enjoying my life. But with the Darren and Dilu, it's a different story. Empty handed. The frustration is palpable. How do you feel? I'm soothed. I'm not stressed. It's okay if I don't fish, but I'd really like to, you know? I got that one. <laughs> Ah, the teacher. After half an hour of flow tubes, buddy, one, Pierre, one, Dillo, zero, and father, zero. He had one! Oh, so hard. But what's Dillo missing? There's not much missing. What's missing is this. <laughs> it has been almost two hours of nothing happening until Dillo finally gets his first trail hit. Except that for the moment, it's not only a touch because the fish has bitten, but it's not over yet. In fact, once it's biting, there's the part called the fight that doesn't end until the fish is in the landing net. As long as it's not inside it, you can come off at any time, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. Holy the candle shit. she made! Basically, it makes a candle. And yeah, for me, until then, a candle was either this or that. But in the fishing world, it means that the fish jumps out of the water, and by shaking, it manages to unhook itself. <sighs> Sorry, Dillo. Looks like it won't happen this time. Oh boy, you had it there. The I'm adrenaline shocked. rush. It's so beautiful, it's so comfortable. Everybody fishes. I don't know how many we sent out. Maybe about 200 pitches? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the true PMP. No, no, no! Never mind. Just let go of the Come thread. here, That's baby. All. What's more, it's a beautiful fish. Damn. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, friends. Here comes Buddy's second rainbow trout for the day. We will release him because he wants to move. Whoop. Well, there. <laughs> Grandpa's proud. Dillo thinks he can take me. He'll shoot to the right. I'll shoot to the left. <laughs> He's on the roof. <laughs> Three. But I have to admit, I am pretty bad as well. Take a look. Well done. So tell me, is it good to be back on Earth? Diving. No, I'm going home empty-handed. Yeah, it's fishing, but everyone I guess. had him except me. Tenu, yeah. You've seen Tristan. He fishes for everything. You held on to it anyway. He's starting to throw well. He's starting to take it all it's in. It's like if you go to a party, kiss your girl, and she leaves with your colleague. <laughs> That's right. It's all the same. They all left with him, as usual, in fact. I've started to develop little automatisms and everything. I'm glad it's past 8 p.m. We've done over seven hours of fishing today, and we're about to pack up, but given that Dillo is the only one to have missed all his touches from the start, he really doesn't want to give up. And just a few minutes away from being forced to return, he's gonna show us that determination always pays off. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Bingo! Bingo! Let's go! At last! That's it, you can't give up! Guys, I've been dreaming go, about this brothers. for so long. Let's go, brothers. <laughs> Yes! I'm happy now. <laughs> and that's how we close this second fishing day. Not to mention, it was taller than me, the fish. It's the end of the shoot for today. Well done. End of day Well two. done. No, it was great meeting. It's changing. What's more, it's France that I love. With its diversity of ages, cultures, and so on. Thank too you guys. Good, stylish, it was a really good day. Day three. Welcome to Etang de la Marte. Oh, wow. It's incredible. Frankly, it's crazy. How are you? Nice to meet you, Sylvain. Today's still the stage above. If there is one, please note. They're predators. If you want to handle the fish, you'll have to be careful because it has 700 teeth that cut like razor yes. blades. You've been fishing with small hooks until now. Here, they'll be a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, right. This is a small one for yeah, pike yeah, that's fishing. small. It has to be like this, you see? That's the maximum size of the first fish we caught three days ago. And now we're using it as a lure to catch pike. Come on guys, pike time. 
One thing that hasn't been said is that pike's a predator that hunts by stalking. Unlike trout yesterday, it swims all the time when hunting. The pike is static, he finds his spot, his hiding place. We're gonna have to get into the pike's head and we're also gonna have to be more discreet than on the first two days. Are you proud of all your apprentice fishermen? It's a meteoric rise. And just imagine, you've learned how to hook and cast in two days, how to hold the fish, how to net, how to unhook your fish all by yourself. I didn't know whether you'd like it or not, and I can see that it's learning. It hit us straight on the head. My grandfather, he fished and everything, so you see it's really stuck in my head now, fishing for old people. It's so stylish, we can all make them, it's crazy accessible. Here we're on the water's edge, that's where it's at its deepest, whereas we fish at the edge of the poles. And we can start fishing right there, in fact. What you don't want to do is get your feet out of the water. You're still feeling your way, you never know. You really need to check every position. Oof. Sorry, almost caught deal. Now we fish with lures that we call spining rods so that you can feel. So who's the boss? No, maybe it's hooked. <laughs> I'm not the boss. We'll take our lure in quietly. The idea is to try to trigger an attack. Water's not so bad. Yeah, not bad. Me. I'm afraid there's a pike there that jumps on me at the last moment. I left it close to the shore. Little by little, I'm going to move away. We're less likely to catch them here. It's difficulty level eight or nine. We've been trying hard for 45 minutes with the first one. At the same time, you have to be super relaxed. You see, while I am talking to you, I am super cushy and all. I need faster reflexes. And that puts your brain in a state of crazy concentration and meditation. I'm thinking it's already such a pain to catch a pike. We've got the ultimate level in this video, and that's catfish. We're not giving up, damn it. There are peaks of activity, in fact, just as well. We haven't touched for an hour, and all of a sudden, they're going to start feeding. Every throw can be a good one. I proclaim this rock to be my fish. throne. Come on, I found you a seat, father. Pike isn't crazy. Nick, thank you very Me, much. I'm out. It's too much. Two hours of pitching, nothing, not even a touch. It's mentally and physically draining because you're walking around in all this mud here. I it got keeps the us feeling. On our toes I'm and all that. I'm going to change. <laughs> what is it? I'm afraid of a pike Hello, jumping uh, on me. makes you run, I felt. We've got the excitement of yesterday, but today's frustration is opposite. There's a luck factor. You don't control it. It makes us furious. Where can I get my fishing license? With the link in the description. Anyway, you can see, despite two hours of intensive tryhard this morning and four rods in the water, we didn't get a single bite. And that, of course, is without forgetting, it'll be even harder against the monsters that await us tomorrow. After recharging batteries, we continue training, but this time on the other side of the pond. There's been so much going on that I thought I might as well put on a little podcast. It's like school, you see. You get 6 out of 20, and then your buddy gets a 4, and it's yes! Right now, we're all in the same trouble, so that's what's cool. Nobody actually got anything. I am sure that I'm the first shirtless guy under a fishing vest with beads around his neck and a helmet fishing for pike. We're obviously in a mood where we've stopped competing because it's impossible. The mood here is one of unity. Right now, we're working together on a zone. I had a touch, so I shot super hard like they told me to. Except instead of being the mouth of a carnivore, it was a tree. The little monkey never loses hope. Two hours later, we've still got no keys. But no matter how low everyone's spirits might be, we are not gonna give up today. <laughs> we keep changing lures every hour and keep going. But look, look at the phallic shape of this one. Logic would dictate that you fish rather imitatively with stuff like that. You have a quality put. You're patient and attentive. You listen to instructions. Well, there's Dilu trying hard to foo. Tristan is quiet and enjoying the He's moment. He's a professional fish imitator, Pierrot. I think there are plenty of people who don't want to come and fish on their own just because you're on your own. Okay, there are fish, but this is a moment for you. Some people are alone with themselves. The I weather's think it's fine. We're talking about anything and everything. Strangely it's enough, we're really enjoying our lives. Well, sun conditions, feet in the water, of course. There's a real state of connection to nature. It's cheesy to say, but I'm sorry, it is what it is. Now I'm able to do some pulling, elite pulling. I'm going to try and put it slightly to the right of Dillo. Yes. <laughs> Here, he's got real crazy resilience. Because right now, motivation-wise, we're at zero. 7 p.m., we've been fishing for eight hours, but does that stop them from casting? Does that stop us from trying harder? It's still within the PMP limit, and don't give up mode. If there was nothing on the 2,000 pitches we had accumulatively, we're still not going to stop, you see. If you haven't put your blue thumb down for this flow, I invite you to do so right here. It helps, it really helps the network. I'm beginning to understand some of the fishing videos. I was like, come on guys, don't overdo it, it's just fish. No, you've been at it all day or all week or even months for some people, so it is not just fish. <laughs> 
Same thing. Yeah, I can stay for hours. It's just a shame it doesn't bite. I'm very I'm really pleased. happy too, but we'll take comfort in tomorrow's six It's hours. all part of the same game. Even though we'd love to have seen the little head of a pike, it just means that it wasn't the day, it wasn't the time, it wasn't the right moment. It's all part of the process. If one day this pike arrives, you'll know how to appreciate it. Yeah, hopefully we'll have better luck tomorrow. See you. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Last day, we've got the team. We have just reached the last Pokemon arena, and now we have arrived at the Catfish Arena. We've just met Anto and Mylin, who are the masters of this arena. Today is a 2.5 meter five operation. Just calm down, we'll help you understand that fishing is very stylish. I think the shooting starts too early. Too early? It's 10 a.m. There will be two boats. The fishing boat with Antu. He'll show you how to catch catfish, and there will be a second boat. We'll follow you, and there will always be two fishermen in action. We'll rotate between the three of you. Compared to yesterday, you've had few opportunities to test. You really have to go harder. We've you told don't you say. that you have to set I the hook. That I now have it's going to be one. even more important. <laughs> in theory, it's easy to learn, but afterwards, the fighting will be a little harder. <laughs> For the past month, it has reached 2.4 meters. 2.4 meters, and how old? I would say 25 years old. 25? He's my age? He's going to be <laughs> our buddy. buddy. All the equipment is here, and we're ready to go fishing. Daddy, the fisherman is here. Watch out. After so many days of hard training, starting with the basics of roach fishing, and then progressively climbing the difficulty ladder with carp, rainbow, trouts, and pikes, the time has come. Now it's time to catch some big catfish. The depth here is 7.5 meters. What you see in the middle are fish. I'd like to have a house like that. We'll need more views. Please subscribe to this channel to help me get my dad a nice shelter. What'd you say, Dad? Yes, it would be nice. There are Look at him, he's not, he's not safe at all. Do catfish have teeth? I think they have over a thousand what? teeth. What? In a few hours. <laughs> Why 1,000 really teeth, buddy? 1,000 teeth. Well, catching new fish means we'll learn new fishing techniques. So we're learning the basics again and again. We'll start by fishing vertically, so I don't want to see the rod break in case a fish is hooked. Okay. Not too high either. If you're here, you have a bite. You don't have the amplitude to hook it. The right position will you're be really here. You're really close. We'll see the catfish You rise. can actually see where exactly. our hook is. So when you're fishing for a catfish, the important thing is to always be on top of the fish, because the fish are always hunting what's on top of them. So if I see on the sensor that the fish is above it, I have to reel it in. You have to reel it in. You go down, you go with it. As soon as you're by the water, you hook it two, three times in a row. There is a fish at six meters. There's a fish, but it's small. The wider the line, okay, the bigger yes. the fish. Sometimes it's blue and then it turns red. The more red or yellow it becomes, the better it is. It's so interesting to be able to see what's going on. Bring it up. Reel, reel. Faster, faster. Okay, I see it. I saw You're something. too high. Go down. Okay, Don't move. Okay. It's a catfish. It's definitely okay. a catfish. Oh, it's coming. Go down because it's not high enough. It's gone. I can see there's no fish around. I can relax for a bit. You prepare yeah. yourself psychologically. Is it Watch a out, fish? something's coming up. Don't move. There are two it's fish, fighting. Buddy. I can do it in one move. Yes, it is. There are two fish. Up, 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 it's up. Coming quickly, down. quickly. Buddy, we're here with you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm ready. I'm so ready that if it touches the bait, I'll hook it straight away. A catfish into the Pokedex. Direct. It's on there. Real. Real, 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 real. Oh, darn. No, you missed it. Mm. It was so close. We've got to stay on okay. our feet, guys. Oh, my God. Damn. It was so strong. I hooked but didn't reel it. You didn't yeah. expect it. First you set the hook and then... And then you reel it in? But I think I hooked it At least well. Now you know I just what didn't reel like. it in. Yeah, definitely. The hooking was yeah, good, you but then you're not on your feet. You have less amplitude. You have to do two backward hooks okay, and you didn't reel. I won't be fooled again. I was so upset that I forgot to you reel after to the bite. Normally I never miss any of my bites at all. Indeed, I didn't. I haven't missed a single one of my bites, but until now, the fish underwater weren't as big as I was. So even though I'm frustrated at having missed what seemed to be a fish that is a lot bigger than me, I will go back with sharp focus. I'm on the lower part, my father's at the top. That's good, because that way we maximize our chances of catching Watch it. Watch out, there's a nice one there. Do I go down? Yeah, go down a little. It was good. You get bites like I did when I had plenty of trout. I haven't looked at it well. And neither have you. We've moved to a new spot now. Deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. I see something. From now on, don't move. Just get ready. It's up to your reflexes. I think it's gone. Come Sometimes they see the hook. Why? It left. You hooked wow, it too it's big soon. Dad. Are you ready? Are you sure you had a bite? Huh? 
Maybe it only touched the line, but I definitely saw some movement. To sum up this morning after my first big bite, which I missed because I'm inexperienced, we're left with nothing but false hope. It's also all about alternating between sitting and waiting for dozens of minutes with nothing happening at all. To standing on alert, ready to strike like never before, but unfortunately, nothing decides to bite today. I must say, it's a real emotional roller coaster. This one is big, Dad. Yeah, it's big. Wait, it's coming back. I'm sure one of them will right. bite it. Come on. Am I good? Yeah, we have no more Do choice. I hold it right? Yeah, it's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, it's... Whoa. I've never seen that. Whoa. It's enormous. What is that? I'm there. I'm Things right on top. Go, buddy. Don't miss it again. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Slowly. Yeah. Hold it. No. 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 What happened? Fuck. Oh, no. I we hooked broke. it. Fuck. I hooked Fuck. it really it was well. A cow. Besides, I hooked it really well. I almost felt sorry for him. And not? Maybe it has. I don't understand. It's a real bummer. Plus, it scared away all the catfish. Why? It gives off stress pheromones, which stresses out the other fish and makes them realize something's not well, right. Well, this kind of situation can happen. It happens, but it's rare. It's really bad luck. It's one and a half times I've a only lifetime. lost one catfish I did the same once. thing. We ran into branches. A new spot. We almost caught one. But as you can see, we experienced some bad luck. The line just broke. We think the area has been exploited a bit. We're going to a new spot. It's nearly 8 p.m. now, and we've been fishing for 10 hours. It's OK. I've started to really get the hang of it. But it's just uh, extremely frustrating. You see fish coming and following you for 2, 5, 15, 20 meters and then leave. Sometimes you see one and you see another one coming from above. You understand they're fighting for your bait, then they get scared and swim away. Feels like I'm playing a video game. You have to follow the line. It's about precision. It's stylish and interesting, but it's not finished yet. We have just over one hour of fishing left. Watch out. I'm a professional. I've got my license. <laughs> he spoke fluent French for over 50 years, and he went back to his hometown. He definitely didn't fish when he was there. We were heading back and returning empty-handed. We didn't have any bites for over four hours. However, I think Mother Nature didn't want this video to end without catfish, because out of nowhere, I will let you see what happens with Dillo. Practice makes perfect. Mother trucker. It's a big one, guys. Go, go, go. We must catch a fish. Don't let it go. The others are over there. Did we give the fishing rod to Tristan or what? It's oh, not it's... huge. <laughs> it's a catfish. Oh my. Well, catfish. Look at that thing. Look at it. <laughs> Let's go! Wait, have you filmed this? Wait, wait, wait! I wow. caught a catfish! Wow! <laughs> wow! Look at them! <laughs> We've been here for 11 hours. I might not have been the one to catch it, but we're a team. The other one we saw earlier was twice as big as that. You see, he's got lots of Get the of camera teeth. in its mouth. <laughs> yes. We got it! Star yeah. follow. Your thumb underneath Star it. Follow. Just like Star that. focus. Star focus! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the new Practice Makes Perfect! <laughs> wow. There you go! Are so you serious? Oh, Come, on, you? Come on, Dilu! Come on, Hey! <laughs> you hurt yourself! <laughs> We've been fishing myself. for 12 hours. We pull a fish and you release it? I have a boo boo. It bit me. It lifts the spirit. There was no ego at all. We're all in this together, all in the same shit. More like in the same boat. I think we've reached the end of this video. Direct dismissal. I advise you to register with the Fishing Federation. Well, another checkbox. Thanks to the Fishing Federation for this crazy experience. We didn't catch a shiny Leviator, but at least we've learned something totally new. Ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>